Before the September 4th Direct, it was rumored that we'd be getting Banjo-Kazooie pretty soon in Ultimate, but nearly no one knew that meant a patch was coming at the same time. So to save you some time from having to watch the Direct and read over the patch notes, let's break down everything you need to know about Smash Ultimate Patch 5.0. And if this video or the release of Banjo has you excited to start competing more in Ultimate, check out ProGuides.com for on-demand coaching through Instapro to get you guys prepared to compete at your next regional. We got tier lists, a bunch of great characters guides and courses with pro players like Zero himself. Alright, so we're gonna start this video off by covering everything new that was added to the game. After we break that down, we'll discuss the brief balance changes. If you did happen to catch the direct yourself, we will still have the changes here that will affect the competitive scene. But with that out of the way, let's see what is new. Alright, so the obvious big addition comes in the form of Banjo finally being added to the game. It's a little early to say how big of an impact the bird and bear combo will have in tournaments, but keep your eyes peeled here on Pro Guides for an in-depth breakdown about the character's potential coming soon. The Banjo DLC is also paired with the new Spiral Mountain stage. It features a new rotating mechanic that changes the layout of the stage throughout the battle. While this is an interesting feature for casual play, the side platforms and small nook in the initial position rule it out from being a competitive stage. You can expect to see many more Mii Gunners now online because a costume of the infamous character Sans from Undertale is now available to purchase on the eShop. What sets Sans apart from the other new costumes released in this set like Team Rock, Rocket and Proto Man is that it comes with a special remix of Megalovania. This song is available to play during battle on all of the Mii stages. This unfortunately closes the door on Sans being included as a full-fledged character in Ultimate. But with how hard it is to get an invite, even with the announcement of the DLC going beyond five characters, Undertale fans should be happy about this addition to Ultimate. The last major addition to Ultimate in this patch comes in the form of Home Run Contest. The mode has appeared in every single Smash game since Melee, so it's great to hear that the rumors are true and it has finally made its return to Ultimate. There's a pretty dedicated community that is still trying to push the world records as far as possible for this mode. It'll be exciting to see how a much larger base will be able to innovate for Ultimate's huge cast of characters. We're already aware of a few changes that have been made to the mode. For instance, the baseball bat does not appear immediately. The patch notes also say that some of the special moves in Home Run Contest will behave differently from other modes, so we'll have to give the community a bit of time to dig and find out what exactly it all means. And last but not least, let's highlight the important balance changes in 5.0. This one isn't nearly as heavy as the now month-old 4.0 patch, but there are a few changes that you should know before jumping into your next Elite Smash game. Previously, if you continued to hold the shield button and left, right, or down after a directional air dodge, you would roll or spot dodge once you hit the ground, essentially letting you buffer that action ahead of time. Now, you'll only roll or spot dodge after landing if you make that input after you land. And all the other significant changes in this patch only affect individual characters. Yoshi now can input a buffered grab after dodging like all other characters in the game are able to do. Peach and Daisy's up special has been touched yet again. The changes this time will make it easier to hit enemies multiple times. Potentially the most significant change came to Ice Climbers as now Nana is able to steal ledges from an opponent. What makes this change important is that Icy's players will again have access to ledge trap options that can create unrequited coverable situations for enemies. Hopefully this change will cause one of Ultimate's most technical characters to see more competitive usage. Villager's Up Smash will now work properly against buried opponents, now hitting them multiple times unlike before. Luma is now able to be controlled when Rosalina is hit by Hero's Snooze Command, which brings the character in line with how other sleep abilities affect the character. Previously, the amount of time it took for Joker and Hero to move after hitting the ground face down was different than other characters. Now with this patch, they fall in line with the rest of the cast. And the last tweak is to Hero's Magic Burst. Magic Burst, easily one of Hero's strongest down B spells, got even better as characters who were previously able to DI out of the move's early hits are now no longer able to escape. And that does it for all the things you need to know about Smash Ultimate Patch 5.0. The balance changes made thus far are more quality of life fixes, and we doubt that it'll cause any huge tier list shifts outside of the addition of Banjo. That being said, we will be creating a tier list for version 5.0. Make sure to sub to our channel if you guys are interested in watching that video. Let us know in the comments down below what your first impression is of Banjo, as well as if you think these changes will end up affecting the competitive landscape. Make sure to drop a subscribe on the channel and get those notifications up. And if you guys are interested
interested in getting better at Smash Bros, then click that description link below to become a god. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck in your next few games, and we'll see you in the next video.